Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Today we're talking about all things Sierra Leone. Let's get started. Hi guys, thank you all so much for tuning in to my channel. I'm Princess Juana, aka Pastor P, aka Miss P. You choose one and I'll answer. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Do me a favor, please, since you're already here, you might as well become a part of the family. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any more of my episodes. You guys, we have a lot of fun up in here, okay? So you are so welcome. Have a seat, get comfortable. It's so much love on here. <laughs> For my returning subscribers, you guys, you guys are the real MVPs and I love y'all so much. Okay, so let's get started. Today we are talking all things Sierra Leone because I am doing the Sierra Leone tag. Oftentimes I get like, oh, are you Ghanaian or are you from like the islands? No, I beg. Salona <laughs> I'm from Sierra Leone, okay? Born but not raised, but I was still born there. So let's get started. So question number one. I wrote them down. It says, My favorite salon song. My favorite Sierra Leone song. Oh, salon is short for Sierra Leone. So my favorite salon song will probably be Nogotaya by Shady Baby. <laughs> So basically the song is basically saying like okay it's like two people in love um, and the song is saying we're still like you and I we're gonna be together forever you're stuck with me I'm not gonna get tired of you um, and all that good stuff hold on let me play it for you guys oh my baby my love for this you love baby i know go ever tire for this you love baby i know go ever tire 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 i know get for tire i know get for tire oh yeah so basically right um He's saying that I'm not going to get tired of your love. Like, it's you and I in this forever. Like, I mean, we riding together because um, I've gotten in trouble for you. I've been beaten for you. I've been locked up for you. I've gotten fights for you. Just so, you know, just so you know how much I do love you, there's nothing that I won't do for this love that I have for you. So that's basically, like, sums up the whole song, I think. Yeah, basically. Go there. <laughs> I like me on a gap for you. Hey, I don't know all the lyrics, y'all, but this song, Frank. Give me your seat. Give me five more to cut. Give me my toe to cut. I'm not the number one. Hey, I sit down the KK. Yeah, that day the KK. <laughs> Let me stop fooling with y'all. But yeah, she's like. I'm not going nowhere, okay? Nobody's going to take me away from my man. Nobody's going to take me away from my girl. I'm here and I'm here to stay, period, okay? <laughs> I'm fooling with y'all. But yeah, that's my favorite salon song. Um, number two, what's your favorite Sierra Leone food? I would have to say okra. <laughs> um, in American, I think it's like okra. But okra and rice, okra stew, ok okra stew and rice. Ah, so sweet, eh? And then my second favorite Sierra Leonean di dish would be, um, I love tola. Oh, tola is like um, a powdery, like a brown powdery substance. But when you cook it, it becomes thick um, and a bit slimy. But y'all, <laughs> It is so good. It's like, it be hitting. And then I think my, yeah, those two are my favorite. Okra and Tola. I love those two. Um, the next one is, when was the last time you went to Sierra Leone? Eh, but what kind of question this? <laughs> what kind of question is this? <laughs> oh, man, I have not. Um, I, we moved, we relocated to America when I was nine. Yes, <laughs> and I haven't been back since. So it's been a, 
almost 20 years i know that sucks that sucks so bad but i've been to sierra leone in my dreams you know i've been to sierra leone in movies i mean i gotta count for something i've been to sierra leone in in you know their instagram you know i've got family and friends that I go and i'll be watching their insta stories and stuff that i gotta count <laughs> but no i haven't been to sierra leone in like almost 20 years um so yeah uh, next question it says um salon most value okay so what do sierra leonean value the most i think that's what that question is asking the next question is what do sierra leoneans value the most um i think what we value the most number one will have to be god like we are big on god on god like we are big on religion we are big on like um as a sierra leonean if you're a christian like you go hard like you're a die hard christian if you're muslim like you're a die hard muslim like those are like the two main religions in Sierra Leone to be honest it's like Christians and Muslims I don't know I don't think we have any other so we're big on God and religion the next thing we're big on Sierra Leone is big on is education you guys we're big on education like your parents don't even want to hear it. it's like a typical Sierra Leonean home if you come home and you tell your mom mom I'm bored I'm bored you say go go read your book <laughs> you come mom i have a headache you don't read your book <laughs> like dad i broke my arm you don't study like like have you read your book have you studied it's like we are big on education because i think like that's the way that um our parents brag with us oh my daughter is a nurse or my daughter is a doctor my daughter is an engineer my son um is a pharmacist that is so like they use us to brag to their friends basically so it's like they're so hard on us for education oh my god i remember there are times where i used to come home you guys with bees okay like I'll come home with B's. I'll have like all A's and maybe like two B's. And my mom will be like, good job, but next time you can do better. <laughs> like next time I don't want to see those B's. And I'll be so happy at school like, yes, I got all A's and two B's. And then I get home and she's like, um, you're smarter than that. You are very smart. You can do better. I don't want to see those B's um, on your report card next time. Um, in a way, right, I think that kind of got to me because I'm super hard on myself right now, like with education. Um, like for me, if I get anything below like an A, like a, like an A, um, I'm so hard on myself. Even if like an, on a test, if I miss like one question and I have like a, a 45 or over out of 50 or like a 95 out of 100, I will beat myself up like you could have done better. Like how can you miss that one question kind of thing? So we are big on education. Another thing we're big on is family Sierra Leoneans are big on family especially like let's say if I was to get married like when I when I'm getting married it's like oh you're marrying the whole family you know what I'm saying kind of thing so we're huge on on both immediate and extended families it's not just like or it's just husband, wife, and kids. No, it's husband, wife, kids, mama, daddy, grandpas, aunties, uncle, everybody all up in there. Like, we're big on, like, family unity. And then uh, I would say the last thing that we're really big on is respect. Like, you will respect your elders. You will respect your parents. Like, you will have respect for people in general. Um, so we're really, really big on respect, but mainly respect for elders and, and respect for your parents. We're big on that. Um, the next thing is, what's your favorite salon word? But left me, <laughs> like, that's, like, leave me alone, basically, but left me or come out. Come out basically means, like, just get out, you know, kind of thing, like, get out my face. Like, I'm not trying to deal with you, so, like, but, but left me or just come out, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So, those are my favorite salon words. And what sets salon apart? From other countries what sets us apart from other countries um, number one I want to say our landscape right so Sierra Leone is known as the lion mountains and that's because you know when you look at salon maybe like from the top or something from the peninsula it actually looks like you know an actual lion and it's such a greenery scenery Ooh, that's nice that's ooh, you guys like that mm -hmm. but it's such a greenery scenery um, it's very green and it's so beautiful and we have some of the most beautiful beaches oh my word we have some of the most beautiful beautiful beaches um, whenever I go to Sierra Leone I would make sure I vlog that trip for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about but Sierra Leone is so beautiful so I think one of the things that make us stand out is like the landscape is very beautiful 
Um, you can Google that too. Um, another thing that makes us stand out is the food. Uh, we get cassava leaf. Ah, cassava leaf is so delicious. If you've never tried cassava leaf before, now wait till you gain. Like, like you are missing out in life. Like, try cassava leaf. Try some salon or soup. Ah, of course, too. So delicious, eh? Hey! And then, uh, what else we get? We've got couscous. Um, salon jollof. Listen, Nigeria and Ghana. I don't even know why you people are fighting yourself over jollof. Like, every, I mean, like, anyways, we just gonna sit back. You know, you know when you know you got it, when you know you about that life, like, you don't have to do too much to try to prove nothing. Like, what's understood, like, what's understood don't gotta be said. So that's us when it comes to jollof. Like, it, what's understood is understood, period. Like, salon jollof. Uh, let's just leave that one and then <laughs> and then last thing um uh, salon women ah we are fine we are very beautiful i mean we are blessed and down african atm we get some <laughs> uh what is african atm african trademark okay i mean we've got face we've got body um we're very smart very hard working salon women i salute us ah, god created us well <laughs> so I would say those three things for me personally speaking uh, you know what really stands out about Sierra Leone um, let's see uh, what Sierra Leone languages do I speak okay so I speak two Sierra Leone languages um, the first one is Creole but Creole is like basically kind of like national um, like the national language in Sierra Leone like everybody basically can speak Creole in Sierra Leone like all my little Creole. Um, so I speak that. Um, and then also I'm Timney. So that's my tribe, the name of my tribe, like where I come from, where my parents are from and stuff like that. It's called Timney. So I speak that, but I'm not fluent. I'm not even going to lie. Like I can say like basic things like Ampiari, Sekia, Topendera. So that basically means, hi, how are you today? Um, Andera, Fino. <laughs> Like I'm doing well, um, and then I know I know how to say um, um, yes, someone like what's your name, and then um, yes, someone then minei minei princess like I'm princess like I know basic, but the thing is though can nobody talk about me because I can hear it. So whilst I can't speak it like fluently, you can gossip about me. So when I come to Sierra Leone. Y'all should try me, cause I will hear you every two weeks when I talk. It's a so cocoa bend mom on the forfeit. <laughs> okay, and then the last question um, would be: Are you proud to be a Sierra Leonean? Are you proud to be a Sierra Leonean? Okay, so since I like to keep it one hundred with you guys, I'm gonna keep it one hundred with you guys. Okay. Um, originally, since I was born in Sierra Leone, I was very, very proud to be a Sierra Leonean. Um, now, after we relocated to the United States, um, and then after my mom passed, I didn't have that much of a good experience um, or interactions with the Sierra Leone community. So for the longest time, for like years, for like 10 years, I kind of removed myself from the Sierra Leone community. Um, and I was I was big with the Ghanaians, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to y'all Ghanaian people. Y'all were good to me. Y'all been good to me. I love y'all. So basically, I kind of removed myself from my Sierra Leonean community, but um, I'm I'm coming back to my roots. Um, I'm coming back to to my Sierra Leonean roots, to my peoples, because home is home. You know what I'm saying? And I am I am proud, you know, to be a Sierra Leonean, even though I had that moment of, you know what? So you see, sometimes God have to take you away from your own people, away from your comfort zone, away from your tribe. Um, sometimes to just help you to mold you into the person he's created you to be, for you to manifest into who he has created you to be. Just like Joseph in the Bible, you know, after his brother sold him into slavery, he ended up in Egypt, he, you know, away from home, away from family, away from everybody, and he ended up becoming like the prime minister and, and, and became wealthy. And so after he became the prime minister and he became wealthy, he was not able to be a blessing lesson to his people, to his father Jacob, to his brothers, to his countrymen and everybody. He was now able to, to be a blessing to them um, after God has taken them away and, and plugged them into a different group, you know, of people. 
Um, and so I think that's, in a way, like, that's kind of like my story. God had to take me away from my folks in order for me to, uh, for him to just be able to mold me and shape me into the person he needed me to be. But yes, I'm a very proud Tierra Leonean. I'm coming back into my community. Uh, and God is placing a lot of things in my heart for me to come to Salon and do and be a blessing to Salon and build my country and love on you guys. So yes, I love Una. I love me Salon people there. Um, and it's, you know, it's coming along. I'm trying to, to just learn more about my Sierra Leonean-ness <laughs> and my country and my peoples and stuff like that. So, me Salon people, then please, when I show me some support, when I show me some love, na they got a big una, and when I just, when I just help me because I really want for Kana Salon for do a lot of great things for the country, for the nation. Um, but I, I can't do it without y'all's help. I won't be able to come and do all those things that God has placed in my heart for our nation and our country, our country without you guys' love and your support. Okay? Okay, so you guys, that's the end of my video. I know I'm not serious one for this video, so like I wasn't serious in this video at all, so forgive me, you guys. Um, but this video was more of a, a, a chill, fun vibe kind of video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it um if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up please click on the thumbs up button underneath this video and then also don't forget to click the subscribe button yes please do click it i mean it's free it's like zero point zero zero dollars or cents like it's free i beg i beg click the subscribe button <laughs> and then also hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. Please help me share this video on your timelines. All um, my salon people, please leave me comments below. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, leave me comments below. If there's anything specific about Sierra Leone that um, any of you, my subscribers, are in interested in, are interested in and you would like me to talk about or shine light on I'll be more than happy to look into it for you guys I don't know much about Sierra Leone right now but I'm, I'm learning I'm getting back into my community but I can definitely look it up for you guys get answers for you guys and do a video on it so if there's anything about Sierra Leone that you guys want to know um, that I didn't talk about in the video leave me comments down below um, and if you have any suggestions for my upcoming videos please let me know I can use some ideas I love you guys I hope you've enjoyed this video please do me a favor share this video on your Instagram story on your Facebook news feed, on your WhatsApp, share with your friends and your contacts, tag all your Sarah people, let them look at this salon to see what she was saying today. <laughs> and um, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. A fine salon to see. Ah, but fine. <laughs>